Hey friends, welcome back to the homestead. Kind of going out the door here really quick and watching my step because we think we've got an egg bound chicken and we need to take care of it right away. So I've got some warm water here from the house. We're gonna try to go uh, put her in a warm bath with some Epsom salts and try to get her, uh, try to get that egg out of her if she is egg bound, which I do believe she is. Okay, I'm coming. Go, run there. So the girls first noticed that she was quite lethargic and we figured that she was probably just getting picked on by some of the other hens. Uh, those leghorns are, uh, they, can, they can really pick on um, other breeds a lot. Besides being lethargic, she is kind of hunched up a little bit and her feathers are ruffled and it's not really that cold outside and she's just staying by herself and she will not eat. I threw some mealworms right in front of her and she didn't really even move. She kind of stands in the corner by herself. So it's pretty evident that it's probably an egg bound chicken. Okay, so my daughter has the chicken. Her name is Pretty. She's one of our Easter eggers. We've got a bath out here, but I need to fill that up. Uh, we've got a little tub. I need to fill that up with water and um, get some Epsom salts in there real quick, and we're gonna feel for that egg. All right, we've got some water here. I've gotta plug this tub up. Oh, there we go. Got some water. That's some cold water. I hope this is enough. We got our warm water. Our hot water. And we're gonna mix in some Epsom salts, just kind of stirred around. The water's nice and warm, it's perfect. We got a towel over here for her and we're gonna try our best. So this is my very first out of years of owning chickens, growing up with chickens, this is my very first egg bound hen. So that I've seen, that I've been able to get to. So uh, my daughter says she can really feel the egg uh, back underneath her vent and it is all swollen up back there so that's a sign that obviously the egg is stuck in there and we're gonna have to try to massage it out of her and help her to uh to give birth essentially we're gonna let her do the pushing and we're just gonna try to manipulate and gently move that egg into a position where she can get it out um, you want to be super careful and i know this even if I haven't done it before you want to be super careful with um, not breaking the egg if it's a weak shell and it breaks then uh, there's nothing you can do uh, the hen's probably gonna die so we're gonna do our best she's very calm which is nice my daughter's got her back there she's very very calm all right let's do this and we'll try to keep the dog out of here he loves chickens. Yeah, he loves chickens too much. Bring her out, hang on to her, and don't let her flop around. I don't think she's going really anywhere. I'll lock the door. Let's get her in the in the water bath here. Love you so much. Okay. Just grab her. Can I go close and watch? The, isn't? Okay. Can I go close and watch? Yeah, sure. Come on over there. Can I put it on top of her? Yeah. Okay. Oh, I know. I know. I know. Don't lose her. Don't lose her. That's. I'm not gonna lose her. Don't worry about it. Isn't this the nicest thing you've ever felt? Well, let's uh, get some water near her vent on the back side. Okay. And see if you can feel that egg. Because she's not been eating. She's a bit skinny here. Can you feel the egg? Yeah. Is it? Okay. I might have you hold her wings down. And you get the egg out. Because, okay. Because she's really calm with me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I got okay. strong. Shh, shh, shh. She's going to be easier easier to catch if she huh? gains. I don't feel an egg. Then why do I feel an egg? I think you're feeling her at the bottom of her breastbone. Okay. She's extremely skinny. You, you told me that yesterday. 
when you're holding her. Yeah. Um, I, okay, I honestly, I don't actually feel an egg. I, I let my daughter pick her up in at, um, I hadn't picked her up yet. So, <laughs> the cat's meowing at us. Um, so I don't feel an egg, but she is sick in some way, and I don't know how. She is extremely skinny. So what I'm feeling on the bottom is no muscle at all. Her breast muscles are almost completely gone. That could be from not eating, from just being sick for a long period of time. Um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what's wrong with her. She's one of the few with all of her tail feathers. Well, half of her tail feathers left in this coop. Uh, they all like to peck <laughs> each other. Yeah. That's what he means. I honestly do not feel an egg. So this chicken is sick in, in some other way. Uh, we're going to have to figure that out. <laughs> so this is going to be a real short video. I was, um, I was thinking I was grabbing the camera and just... Uh, walking out to an egg bound chicken because she, she showed the signs of being egg bound. I'm trying to feel for something here. I'm just talking as we go. There's, I cannot feel anything back here. Mm. This is like live as it happens guys. And uh, she's a sweet chicken. I don't know what's wrong with her. Her, her comb isn't, her comb is pink. Y'all know we just had another chicken get bullied and uh, we took care of that rooster. He is gone. Forever. <laughs> Forever in a friend's soup pot, right? No, in his stomach. Well, yeah, after it was in the soup. But uh, this one we, we obviously <laughs> want to save and keep. And we care for our animals. This is probably the skinniest chicken I've ever, so? I've ever touched. She's, she's got almost no muscle left on her uh on her anywhere so i'm gonna research that she got a bath um i don't know what to do with her right now get the ellie, get, ellie she's the cleanest chicken she's the world. cleanest chicken we have of course. whoa what, what are we gonna do with you huh all right we're gonna wrap her up in this towel and dr yeah. get her all dried off oh she's shaking because she doesn't Hi. careful her wings when we wrap her up okay Rock a bite chicken. Rock a bite chicken in, in the, the towel. towel. Okay, all right. <laughs> Keep hold of her tight still because she might jump out and we're outside the coop and then mm. she'll just be Duke lunch. She doesn't have any, there's no lice on her or anything. There's no, you know, I can't see anything on here. She likes to get pet on the chin. Yeah. That's a good So usually with a sick chicken, unfortunately, the rest of the flock will peck it to death because they don't want that sick chicken around. Um, I don't see that happening with her either right now. She's just skin and bones or feathers and bones. Do I isolate her in this little coop over here that we have? We can see if that'll work and put her in here and try to keep her warm and all that kind of stuff and see how she does. And if she is sick, you wanna get her away from the other chickens in the flock because she could spread something to them. We're gonna put her in this small coop, this isolation coop by herself. That's a great reason to have a small, tiny coop like this. Um, I did a video on this one. It's not the best and you need it undercover, but it's a great thing to have if you need to say isolate a potentially sick chicken. Well, she seems to be loving this attention and uh, my daughters obviously want her to live and so do I. You know, this is a sweet chicken and we don't want her to go anywhere. We like having her around. So I need to fill it up full of some wood shavings, get some water in there and then we'll get her in there. And then our new kitty likes to get himself stuck in precarious places. I tried to get him off the roof uh, the other day and he clawed me. Oh, no, I'm not helping you down this time. <laughs> not he helping you down. Up there. Yeah, <laughs> come on, you can come down yourself. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> you were funny up there. This is Shade, everyone. Yeah, I think you met him once before. 
Okay, that part's done. Yes, I did. I did not know this that she was in it. There's two nesting boxes. There's two nesting boxes in here. Yeah, just in case there's another chicken who needs help, right? Yeah, this little coop is made for just a couple of chickens. It's okay, relax. Relax. It's okay. There's the rest of the flock. Let's go in here. You're a luxurious chicken now. Can I leave the... No, don't leave the towel. Just put her in and get her to move out of the way. Okay, I just need her to... Can I... And so she doesn't fly out here. All right. Okay, I guess she likes it in there. There's my alarm. Anna Home said you got 30,000 things you're doing at the same time. This is my timer for our bread. So I need to get the bread out of the oven. So I hope she survives and we'll try to figure out what is wrong with her. I'm not sure how she's, uh, how long she hasn't been eating for. It's hard to tell in a big flock and keep your eye on every single solitary animal every single day. But um, maybe that's my fault. She's pecking at some grass, some grass that my daughter put for her down here in the bottom. And there are some, some amaranth seeds that are in there. So I will get her some regular food later, probably some scratch and also some water. Right now, I've got to take care of that bread. Okay, friends, well, this isn't a video about how to help an egg-bound chicken. Although, I told you some of the signs and how you can try to help from the beginning and try to massage that egg out. But, uh, yeah, I'll give you an update when I have it. We love you. Have a beautiful, blessed day. We'll see you next time. Bye. Wait. <laughs>